Hello guys and welcome, welcome back to World of Worship and to Zera's channel. How you guys been doing? I hope you have a fantastic weekend and what you know, it's a brand new ship. I never featured in this ship in my channel and by the way, please let me know, does the biggest YouTuber in this whole world, like uh, Jingles and Flamu and so on, did they ever feature in this uh, uh, ship? I don't think so. I don't know. I do believe they are all sleeping. No matter what, let's go back to this uh, channel and to this ship. We have a huge pleasure to watch this awesome captain. This captain name is uh, Admiral Spawn. It's he is actually from Germany, not from France. Uh, what do you know? Uh, An EU server. All right, this map, guys. It's a sleeping giant in. And even this one, it's pretty new, right? Sleeping Gen. I, even though I played um, in a test server a couple times. Please let me know what you think about this ship. And please let me know what you think about this map. Now, the only 8 guns ship in this game. Yeah. Alright, you may argue that the rate of fire is pretty significant. But it has to be. You know, it's lack of the firepower uh, which i have no idea now there are kind of a unique i do honestly believe the the aa of this ship it's fantastic even though there's only two destroyers we have three destroyers and the enemy only has two and that is kind of a problem the the range are fantastic you see uh, the montana it's 23 point or it was 24 kilometers and you had the damn range now um, the range are kind of important, however, I honestly believe uh, versus cruiser and some other ships, um, battleships range, in my personal opinion, a little bit OP, because here's the deal, uh, some ships, I'm talking about the cruisers, cannot shoot back, but you have all the He <laughs> got instantly nuked. Now, seriously, guys, I'm talking about this Dmitry Donskoy. I don't honestly believe that he played Kerr for what? Two and a half minutes and maybe did one or two salvo and he was a goner. That's the life of a cruiser. And the tier 9 does have heal. But when she was focused fire, you know. She was instantly deleted, not by this captain, but this captain did one hell of a salvo, 28,400, it's ridiculous uh, amount of uh, damage, uh, even though you you are lack the brutal firepower like the other tier uh, 10s battleships. Please let me know what you think about the AA and speed and secondary, I do believe they are a little bit interesting and to bounce uh, well when yamato it's perfectly uh, bound like this <laughs> atago mr atago he wants to send the torps so that's the r reason he wants to kite wow damn he received this captain close to 20000 damage from someone in the right in the, you know and engine boost. Yeah, I do honestly believe that's the right thing to go. Now, this captain does not have the secondary. Oh, he will definitely eat a couple of torps. Oh man, your range are 10 kilometers, which is absolutely hilarious, fantastic. There are two ships aiming at this captain. Mm, maybe, oh yes, secondary. Put the Yamato on fire. Remember, I do. Oh, that was one hell of a uh, salvo once again from maybe the curve first. Um, yes, he's still on fire, the Yamato. I honestly believe he eat one or two torps and then he he used the damage cone because no no battleship wants to flood to death. But secondary chew this Yamato up and put him on fire. As you can see, and the damage cone, uh, it's it's still on fire. This Yamato. 3,800 damage. Pretty hilarious secondary, uh, to be honest with you. It is. And if you spec everything for AA, it's also a AA monster. This Rebu Republic. The tier 10 French battleship. 
and perfect broadside. The shell speed are okay. There's nothing wrong with the, the, the shells. Oh yeah, he was slowing down this curve first. Yeah, he was baiting this captain. He was uh, actually uh, stopping and now probably he's want to reverse. The rate of fire is fantastic, very good aim. And we are angled towards this curve first. Eleven thousand, not bad, not bad, guys. Only two real pen, and uh, you know all the other shells were over pen and bounces, but uh, for two shells, eleven thousand to penetrate is hits. Not bad, eleven thousand. Let me tell you. And now curve or focus fire. I kind of like the end knock of the, the, the turret. I like the uh, rate of fire, it's absolutely fantastic. I actually highly recommend you to have Adrenaline Rush. And the shell arcs are pretty darn good. Ooh, 11,600 damage and this curve first. He's burning and he's toast. Yep. Yeah, this is what happened when he's alone. Basically, no one has <laughs> nothing to shoot. Then, then just curve first. He's uh, he was a sitting duck, to be honest with you. Probably, I would like to say the um, the French are like a supporter. I I have this gut feeling they eat a lot of damage, A P N A G. So they are, shall I say? Oh man, what the heck? Twenty six kilometers, and you do have range. It's, it's so stupid high range at 26 kilometers. Yeah, to be honest with you, I'm not that fan of that, you know. Because one of the biggest problems with the Conquerors is it's not just a, a, a pure uh, amount of uh, firepower. It's also the stupid range. Absolutely crazy. I'm not saying the Yamato does not even have even better, but come on guys, 26 kilometers, that's a little bit too good for a battleship. I'm talking about the range. And Hinderberg, he's, uh, yeah. The dispersion could be all over the place. Now, this captain has really luck to hit the Neptune. I do believe he was aiming for the Hinderberg, but Neptune received one hit. I honestly believe that also the biggest problem with this ship is also the armor. The armor are not quite, um, you know, ridiculous like... Uh, French I'm talking about not the French the German the German battleship but man when you you hit the the, the cruiser they are pretty I'm sorry guys three hits for 13,000 it's not bad and this Musashi it's 22 kilometers away close and it's easy easy to hit him of course, the downside is that you're kind of, um, I don't know, flashy, shall I say, this this uh, battleship. And this Persian can definitely troll you. Hinderburn is charging him. Yes, he does. Something a little bit disappointed about this uh, battleship. It does not have any uh, spotter plane, no nothing. It, uh, it's like a conquer, uh, blind as a uh, bat versus torpedoes. Probably the only thing you can uh, definitely do is uh, bait your enemy and torps so you can use the speed boost and just kite away. Yeah, you're definitely a uh, tier 10 uh, support, shall I say. This game, what I definitely can say, it's the the friendly team are very close together, they are supporting each other, however, someone had to go and trying to cap or uh, trying to delete some cruisers at B, because, um, you know, if we are not taken down like, ooh, there's a repu republic, the enemy's republic is aiming for him. Four thousand seven hundred for only one. 
and alone. This is definitely you see. And Hindenburg, of course. I like the rate of fire. I highly recommend Adrenal Rush for this battleship. Ooh, close to 11,000 damage, and he's pretty much screwed, I do believe, Hindenburg, because there's two Yamato. <laughs> Aiming at him. <laughs> All right, Montana's pretty healthy. Enemy Montana, and he. We have speed boost, guys. We have selling 32 knots. It was just a couple seconds ago, 32 knots. So yeah, d with this ship, it's definitely different playstyle. I kind of like. There's a speed boost personal. I believe that. Ooh, two citadels. Oh, that was one hell of a, uh, uh, a big hit. I uh, I don't believe that it was. Maybe I'm just saying 30,000 something ish close to 40. Okay, that was one hell of a and Musashi once again Aim for the Okay, that was bad only 7,000. So basically it was the torpedo who who wrecked that Musashi Montana He's not aiming at, at us. I do believe This captain is pushing hard, but he's not uh, pushing alone. We do have at least two more ships over here Yeah, it's definitely a trollish gun. Sometimes they hit, they sometimes they don't uh, hit the heart, but it was all right. Montana is aiming at us. We are pretty good angle, actually. Probably not that good angle. <laughs> we do, we did, we did hit a citadel. And four bounces, four freaking bounces. But now the, here's the biggest difference. It's the secondary. Zhao, okay, interesting. Okay, Montana, he's burning, and probably we have to help this. Yeah, it's definitely the right uh, call. And maybe the Zhao, Zhao, Zhao is aiming it towards us, definitely. It's. Yeah, I like the rate of fire, absolutely crazy. That is the biggest difference. Why can't you say the rate of fire is crazy? Yeah, I don't know. Please, please let me let me know what I think about uh, this ship and definitely the penetration value. Ten thousand. So you see, probably uh, it's that you know, even though you, it's not the easiest to uh, to citadel uh, uh, republic, but she's somehow soft versus other battleships she eats tons and i mean i really mean tons of damage even though the republic does not have the biggest caliber guns you see 4300 each and every pen angle or not angle you always eat at least five to ten thousand damage each and every salvo that's the damn problem You see what I'm talking about? Okay, that was very unfortunate. But you see this enemy uh, Republic, it's kind of angled. So it's not the easiest uh, way to deal and uh, delete her. But now we pop the speed boost or the heal, sorry, the heal. Oh, zero damage. <laughs> that was one hell of a trollish. Okay. Let's see the rate of fire of this thing. Yeah, it's it's 20. It's still 20, but uh, yeah. I don't know what to say. It's her speed, it's definitely her her thing, but also the softness. She's very flashy. The Republic. She is basically trying to, uh, uh, her very best to kite away, but it's too little, too late. Thanks, guys, for watching. That's all for today. I wish you have a <laughs> Take care and bye.